The Buffalo Bills in the AFC East in 2018, they went seven and nine. They are plus 1,000 to win the division. Their projected strength of schedule this season is 28th in the league. So fairly easy schedule compared to last season. Their turnover margin last year was 23rd in the league. They were minus five, so not good. You would expect that with a rookie quarterback. Correct. Uh, total yards per play. They were number 31 in the league last year, 4.7. That is not good. Defense, total yards per play, they were number three. They held teams to only 4.9 yards per play. Uh, head coach, Sean McDermott. The offensive coordinator is Brian Dable. And defensive coordinator is Leslie Frazier. The over-under is seven. To go over, it's minus 140. So Vegas thinks fairly highly of this team. To go under is plus 110. What say you? They are uh, they are projected favorites in only four games this year, by the way. So I'm leaning more in the in the way that Vegas is, is leaning here. It shocked me that their over under was so high. Yeah, and that the juice was in favor of Vegas, thinking they're going to more likely go over than under. Um, I got this team as a borderline wild card team. Yeah, I, I got them seven and nine. If they finished eight and eight or nine and seven, it wouldn't surprise me at all. I like oh. Sean McDermott a lot. I think he's the most underrated coach in all of the NFL. Oh, he has completely rebuilt this defense. Nobody talks about him and as one of the best coaches in the NFL, but he's the most consistent. A couple of years ago, he made the playoffs with Tyrod Taylor and ain't much else. Yeah. Um, that roster was pretty depleted, but they fight hard. They play really hard for him. He puts together good game plans. His biggest knock that made him a joke or a laughing stock in the NFL was he tried to force this Nate Peterman thing down people's throat. Yeah. And it just didn't work. Um, I think Josh Allen is a lot better than people thought he was going to be coming out of college. He was a rookie, so they weren't great last year. I'm going to tell you this. I think they added a lot of speed to this team. Oh, they're, here's their wide receiver core. They've got Robert Foster, John Brown, yep. Cole Beasley now. Uh, so they brought in new guys there, and they completely rebuilt the running back core, which is Frank Gore, TJ Yeldon, and they no, drafted Devin Singletary. I was Singletary. just about to say, Devin yeah. Singletary is going to dominate, dominate this year. If, if you're a fancy guy, look, you might for him, grab him. look for him in those mid-rounds because he's not going early. You get him cheap. He's going to be a number one uh, uh, running back for this team. I think he's going to get the most carries, the most touches. I mean, he's the most athletic guy. The biggest knock on him coming out of college, if you watched him play college at FIU. FAU. FAU, yeah. sorry. I do that all the time. It happened. He <laughs> he looked really, really good. Yeah. He went into the combine. He ran like a five-something 40. And it was bad, and people think he's slow. I, I can't. He I ain't can't, slow. I can't answer his 40 time. I watched him play with football pads. Well, on he's, he's got carrying a pad. really good vision. Right? He, he sees the field well. He understands where because that's the biggest thing. Like Trent Richardson was really fast, yeah, but he, was he couldn't big see and he the field. He couldn't he, see where yeah. to make the cuts. He couldn't find. He, he couldn't right into blocks. a hole. Yeah. yeah. So with uh, with Devin Singletary, it's completely different. I, I like him a lot, but I also think T.J. Yeldon, good experience guy. Frank yeah, he's Gore, a of course, good locker room guy. Yeah, no, Frank's yeah. A, an unbelievable dude to kind of help teach these guys how to be pros and. Uh, I like this team. I got them seven and nine. I wanted to have them eight and eight, but I've got them seven and nine. Took as well. a little bit less. Yeah. I wouldn't touch this under over under though. No, not a chance. I wouldn't touch it. Not a chance. Um, they uh, they brought in Ed Oliver on defense. They signed cornerback Kevin Johnson, uh, Jerry Hughes, another defensive end. He returns. They're still like one edge rusher away from really being a dominant defense. And, but they're building they're the defense. Anyway. In the, they're building the defense from the middle. Like edge the way rushers, that you're supposed to. Edge rushers get all the praise. They get all the yeah. glory. They get all the credit, and they get the mega contracts. Okay. Well, they they were like number twenty six in the NFL last year as far as pass rushing. Yes. So, but they were number three overall in defense. Yes. So who gives a crap if you're bad on pass rush, but you stop everything else? Uh, like you don't get a lot of sacks. Guess what? Some of these quarterbacks, if you keep them in the pocket and and you just put a rush on them, they're not great. Yeah. No, you're right. You are correct about anyway, that. Anyway, so. I, I like this team a lot more than most people. I, I was surprised that Vegas had them that way. I went into it thinking, I'm going to have them 8-8 eight and eight or 9-7. and seven. I looked through the schedule. It's it, Now, the, the 28th ranked strength of schedule, like, that's fourth softest. That's right. But I just, I can't, 
I think seven to nine. I think they've seven got a nine couple, is good. They've got and, a couple of home games that I think would normally be winnable games, but Philadelphia comes home. I think the Eagles are going to be really good. That's going to be a hard game to win. And 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 when you start chipping away at some of your your home games, then then I think it's hard to get to eight and eight. Yeah, you got to go on the road in the NFL, and it's just not easy thing to do. I do agree with you. 